Hi viewers, welcome to my Clinic TV. I remain your host, Moralaya and Oputi. Thank you for joining us once again. So I came across this video that um, is titled Marital Wisdom. It contains sound marital wisdom for both singles and married. It is a must watch. I feel a lot of people will learn from this. So I decided to share the video. Watch. We are 24 years plus in marriage. I am yet to fully understand her. And we are 24 years of staying in the same room. It's forever. Patience is forever. So therefore, wherever your patience stops is where your marriage ends. If your patience ends here, your marriage ends here. Marriage is two patient people staying together. To build a home, therefore, you must cultivate patience. Nobody is just patient. You learn it. You learn it, please. You cultivate it. And number two, outburst of anger, lack of emotional intelligence. Nobody on this earth can stay with an angry person successfully. When your car overheats, what do you do? You park. You open it to cool down. You don't embrace a hot iron. So there can, be, there can be peace, there can be joy. There are some men here, you are constantly hot. You are, and there are some women here too. Your hotness is raised to power 30. Hot, hot, anger. I'm telling you, anger, anger, angry outburst. How dare you abuse each other before your children? How dare you raise your voice that neighbors hear you? Is total irresponsibility. It means you are not even prepared to marry. How dare you raise your voice on each other? It's to show you lack capacity for emotional intelligence. I'm telling you, how dare you throw tantrums? How dare you jam the door and slam it? And even when we do that, it makes the other party more distant from one. Isolation withdrawal. Withdrawal. The more we do throw tantrums, we do all those ones, the intimacy you are looking for gets further from one. When you slam the door on your spouse, jump, slam the door, bam, and scrap. Shit. You don't eat the food. No food. You marry shit. <laughs> you are married to scrap. The person you pay the dowry is crap. So you've gone to pay for crap, crap to come to your house. No, you know what? You are not emotionally intelligent to marry. You are a boy. Immature. You are, you are immature. You are not. You are not emotionally stable to marry. Thank you, Did you hear that word on patience? Capacity to bear and tolerate without it's reacting. It is staying power. Patience is not to be slow. Mm -mm. It's not to be slow. It's a virtue that depicts maturity. You don't speak just because you feel like. You are able. You don't want to eat, but you eat. Yes, sir. Even if it is beans. You eat it. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't like beans. <laughs> you know the truth. Because of the way we were raised, there are two things, Gary and beans. I hate them that if I don't eat them the next 50 years, they're yeah, in my okay. blood. <laughs> you know, it, as you are looking at me now, beans is in my blood. <laughs> Gary, when we were growing up, we ate beans, we ate beans, to the extent that as God began to give us some money, the smell of beans. Hey, I was like, no, 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 no. So I, I, we were closing from office one day. I told first lady, I said, baby, quickly go home. I want to eat good food. I'm tired tonight. Let me eat good food. And please don't cook beans. I told her. She went home. As I was climbing, I was earning the smell of beans. Bones. Ah. It was not even being cooked. It was already burnt. 
she put the beans on fire and she slept off. But the truth is that there was no money that day. <laughs> it was only beans that was in the house. Remember, I was pregnant. I was so, so tired. I needed to sleep. You so see? this is the other version of the story, sir. <laughs> you see the two sides. <laughs> so, that so was the balance. You can see now that you need understanding. Yes, sir. I entered. I went to the kitchen. I removed the burnt offering to the Lord. I put it down. I went to the room. I woke her as she stood up because she was just with the clothes and everything. She stood up and ran to the kitchen. I said, no, no, no. No problem at all, baby. So we prayed and slept hungry, the two of us. No fighting, no anger, no reaction, no abuse. Thank no... you. Thank you. Thank you for all this. Hallelujah. There is no marriage that won't go through it. 